Hey guys, what's up? It's once again mp4podcast.com. Now I previously reviewed Splash Top on my iPod Touch and I was very impressed with the program. And I also um, decided to take a look at the iPad version because it's just that awesome. Now, just to let you know if you do want to demo this program, there is the uh, demo version which they just call the browser. And it allows you to uh, try out the program for five minutes. So five minutes you can check out this program for free. Um, and basically what it does is you have to install um, you have to install Splash Top Desktop uh, Remote Server Program on your uh, Windows computer or on your Mac. And what we're going to do today is we're going to um, uh, look at the image of my laptop on my iPad. And you can also do this if you have a Mac computer just install the Mac software and then you just install the application. So here it is uh, connecting to my router and my computer at the same time. Now here are the gestures. A one tap is a left click, a hold is a right click, uh, two taps is a um, toggle uh, trackpad mode, uh, two fingers down is a window scroll, three fingers down is a screen scroll, and three fingers down is a control bar. I always leave this, um, uh, you know, this little this tip. So I always uh, keep that because it's it's a, it's kind of hard to remember, you know, eight of them all, all at one time. There's uh, two more. Uh, launch key is uh, one tap and double uh, tap. So anyway, here is Eric Kim. Uh, he's a very well known street photographer. This is the full desktop version of YouTube and I'm running Firefox. Alright. So I'm going to turn this up just a little bit more. And uh, um, Rinzi's a really good street photographer. I'll leave the links to all the videos in the description box if you guys just want to check them out. Uh, and also a link to this guy's um, photography site. His, uh, Hello everybody, how are you? David DeFranco here from DeFrancoHosting.com with another survey. You guys know I love my surveys. As you can see, there's no frame drops. It runs perfectly fine. And uh, here's another YouTuber. Hey, what's up guys? I'm KBHD here. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy S3s. Design. If you didn't already know, the Samsung Galaxy S3 was recently released the other day. It has a quad core. All right, and uh, he does a lot of uh, Android videos and tech reviews. Hey, awesome people. I'm Ellie in Snapchat. Here with my series, it's going to make you spend all your money. Awesome products. So today, throw what? All right, now chat is reviewing a sticky product that goes on the back of your iPad. And, um, you know, so you can use your iPad as a calendar or a picture frame. Uh, it's pretty interesting. Now, another website that I really like to go to is a website called App Shopper for iOS uh, apps. And on Android, I go to a website called App Brain. And as you can see right now, um, here are all... Uh, the newest apps that are coming out. So let me just see if I can think of, if I go like this. All right. And uh, just remember, if it's not scrolling, just give it a tap. You want to make sure the mouse is there. And once you get the mouse there, it's going to uh, scroll with absolutely no problems. So there is a little bit of a learning curve with this. But once you play around with it, uh, you won't really have any problems. So we're going to find a free app. And here's a burning run. It's probably a running game. And it's 99 cents. It's free. And we're going to click on it. And here it is on iTunes. This is the desktop version of iTunes. And I'm going to click purchase. And as you can see right now, it is purchasing. Um, you know, it's actually downloading the application. So that runs really, really well. And um, let's look at, at, just give this some time because there's something else I want to show you. Here is Camtasia Studio. This is a program that I sometimes edit in. Um, and also I use it for compression if I need to make uh, files smaller. And as you can see, I'm scrubbing 
uh, uh, through the file and uh, it's working out really well. And let me see if I can get this right. Um, come on. Let me just zoom in. And here we go. Um, let me see if I get this right. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it, they were scrubbing right over here. And uh, we can hold that down and then we can do a cut. So I did cut part of that video. This probably isn't the best Campagia Studio uh, tutorial, but just to give you an idea. Now, as you can see right here, um, you know, I cut this, this piece so I can move right here. And I'm actually going to cut another piece right over here. And if I want to cut that, I can bring up the keyboard, then do cut. And that should be cut. Did I cut that? Yeah, I cut that. No, so here it is right here. Let's cut um let's cut um this piece right here. And we're gonna make another cut. I think I might have made a mistake in my video editing, but right here you get the point. Here's the piece that I cut right over here. Um so that's that. And you know, here's Audacity. I can do audio editing if I need to. Here's iTunes. And one of the reasons why this program is really nice is, is because App, the App Shopper application will only allow you to, to download uh, iPhone, iPod Touch applications. And you can't download iPad applications. However, I believe the App Shopper app for iPad only looks for iPad applications, so uh, you can't get the um, you know the iPhone ones. However, if you use um, the uh, if you use a slash um, um, you know a slash top and you, you use Firefox and then you use iTunes, you can get the iPhone ones or vice versa. Now, the I, I know the iPad can download iPhone applications. Um, you know, the iPad can download either one of them, but the App Shopper app doesn't look for them. So you could use Safari and then go to uh, um, App Shopper and then, you know, then down, download them that way. But I had a lot of problems with um, using Safari and then the App Shopper website, it was crashing my iPod Touch and my iPhone 3GS, but I don't know, whatever. But this this way works out pretty well. I can find any app I want and I can download it. But remember, it's downloading to iTunes on your desktop. Now, one of the coolest things about this is, um, let me just go back to Hulu. And I'm going to lower this uh, just because of copyright reasons. Um, you get flagged a lot, a lot of times, but... What we're going to do is we're going to play this episode. I guess it's Supernatural. And as you can see, Hulu is uh, loading up. And um, if it plays a commercial, I'm just going to move the iPad off camera for a few seconds. So we're just going to take a look at this. And it's Sarah, a Sarah Lee commercial. So I'll just move this off camera um, just so I don't you know, get in trouble for any reasons. And this is going to be done in about 30 seconds. So, uh, as you can see, it is playing. It's playing it perfectly. There's no frame drops. It, you know, it, it's just, it's like having Windows 7 right on your iPad. So, this should be done in about 10 seconds. And then I'll show you the episode. And uh, you can actually even watch this on, on full screen. You can log on to Hulu.com. Uh, Hulu subscribe to TV shows that you might be interested in watching and so on. So here we go. Just going to get this back in, the can in frame. And here is uh, one tip for, for Hulu. I want to make sure I get this. Is actually take the volume, the, the software volume, and make that go all the way up right over here. And then we're going to go full screen. And here we are. We have a full screen version of Hulu.com and
and we're going to stop that right there just for copyright reasons but you know uh, but you guys can see that it does work really well I'll probably play another clip of another show uh, just to give you another demo and let me see what we have right here this is supposed to be a pretty good show I haven't watched it yet but the trailer does look pretty interesting it's a show about that shows like the fairy tales were real and the monsters were real I think it's produced by oh it's produced by NBC but I thought it was on Sci-Fi Channel because Sci-Fi and um, Sci-Fi and um, NBC are actually Universal Studios and as you can see this commercial is playing perfectly fine um, salad dressing ranches whatever and that's running pretty well I'm just gonna move this off camera just a little bit just so copyright reasons but um, as you can tell I'll just move it back in for a second it's running really well there's no frame drops and it just it just rocks I mean it's just a really good application and this is really good is it says when you want to use uh, features that the iPad just does not have and will not offer you at all and again we will go to full screen and and there we go and um, Now I do want to uh, talk about one other thing, which is another application that I really do like. However, um, I really do feel, uh, let's we'll see, we're going to Chrome, I'm going to go to IGN for a second, and another program I really do like is PlayOn, which does allow you to play Hulu for free. Uh, it is a paid application, but after you pay it, it's a, it is a one-time fee charge, uh, but you can't um like watch 10 minutes of a show on Hulu and then uh come back to it later and pick up where you left off that's what the program play on which I'm a big supporter of it I use it on my so I can watch TV on PS3 or Xbox and so and it's really well worth it for those reasons but for the iPad maybe you want you want to watch 10 minutes of a show or 15 minutes or you want to stop whatever you want to come back later if you sign into hulu.com with your account uh, it will pick up where you left off previously so that's a pretty good feature to have and also I do want to point out the official Hulu application for iPad, I, iPhone and Android or even Roku PS3, Xbox, wherever they have uh, you know for set-top boxes and mobile devices there are certain shows that uh, that you can't watch and the reason because that a lot of people don't understand is that there are other studios who make shows for different networks some shows are produced in house where they have full rights to the shows and there are other shows where the network does not have full rights just to give you an example is a show that I used to watch a lot was this Sarah Connor Chronicles the Terminator show that show was produced by Warner Brothers, okay, but it aired on Fox. Now, they did work out with Fox, so they could air it on Hulu.com, but the show Mentalist on CBS, that show is not even on CBS.com. That's because CBS does not own the show. It's produced by a different studio, and uh, that's been a problem with a lot, uh, few shows here and there. And it's also one of the reasons why I know a lot of people who live outside the United States always say they're getting um, screwed by you know Hulu blocking them that's not really true um, there are a lot of legal problems with shows and copyrights and I'm just going to give you an example uh, in the UK the Sarah Connor Chronicles the station that has uh, the broadcasting rights and the online distribution rights to you know they need to play it on their website is the Virgin Mobile um, station so it's a con there's a lot of problems with that legally I mean if you live in the UK um, and let's say you're your Virgin Mobile you're the, you're the Virgin Mobile station you're uh, that billionaire whatever his name is I can't have a mental block but do you want people going to hulu.com or do you want people watching on your station and going to your website so there's a lot of um, legal issues with that so here is a review from IGN and one of the problems with IGN they still use uh, flash players for some of their videos which aren't HTML5 
I think uh, their daily show, but a lot of their reviews and s certain videos are still flash only. So we're going to play this for a second. And as we can see, it absolutely plays with absolutely no problems, and it just works out really well. Uh, so right now we're going to close it. And I'm just going to give you that, that demo right there. But, um, you know, I can, you know, if I need a pinch to zoom, you know, here we go. And uh, we're going to go to Xbox 360. Um, so you get some Xbox 360 news. You know, you head on over to PS3. And this works out really well. You just have to get a little used to the gestures. And I am over a camcorder and a, a big giant pole in front of me. So um, I'm kind of like putting my fingers down this way a little bit. So um, that's probably the problem. But I haven't had any of these issues when uh, just using it for myself. And, you know, so it's a really nice program. I really do like it. Um, so check it out. I'll, all the links will be in the description box of this video. And, um, yeah, and remember, once again, if you just want to test drive it, uh, just look for the browser. I'll leave a link to this one, this the browser, which is the demo in the full version. You can test it out for five minutes, um, and then after five minutes, it lock, locks you out. I wish they just called it Splash Top Light, uh, so people would just understand that. Because it did get only about three and a half stars, and people were a little bit uh, mad about that. But it is a very good program, and it's probably, in my opinion, the best solution uh, to not having flash on the iPad. Now, don't get me wrong, there are other good solutions uh, uh, for not having flash with uh, other clouds, uh, cloud browsers, and so, such as Photon, uh, the Photon browser, which I re really do like. However, um, I'm probably about 20 feet away from my router right now, and my laptop is probably about 20 or 15 feet away from me, and my laptop is the cloud uh, cloud browser or the cloud server or whatever it is. So once again guys, this is mp4podcast.com and if this video has helped you, please subscribe to the channel. Take care everyone. Bye.